I'm Melanie Kerr, the Director of Financial Services with the City of Vancouver, and I'll be speaking on the City of Vancouver's empty home tax. In Vancouver, rising housing prices have far outpaced local incomes, creating a housing crisis situation. The average assessed value of a home in Vancouver is over 1.7 million, while the median household income is only 65,000. Homelessness continues to rise and even moderate income households are increasingly challenged to maintain secure housing. Vancouver has the lowest rental vacancy and the highest rents in Canada. Vancouver's rental housing vacancy rate continues to sit below 1%. Renters have limited options and face substantial competition for a small number of available homes. While some people are struggling to find housing, there's evidence that other homes are sitting empty. In March 2016, an Ecotagus report based on electricity consumption data estimated approximately 10,800 homes in Vancouver were unoccupied for at least 12 months. Making better use of existing housing stock is one of the solutions the city is using to address the housing crisis. After hearing from more than 15,000 people and consulting with many experts, the city saw both the support and the need for a tax on empty homes in Vancouver. A 2016 survey found more than 90% of Vancouver residents surveyed agreed empty homes were a problem. And a 2015 survey found 80% of Metro Vancouver residents were in support of a vacancy tax. In order to encourage property owners to rent their homes long term to people who live and work in Vancouver, a vacancy tax, otherwise known as the empty homes tax, was introduced. It was the first of its kind in North America. While the primary purpose of the tax is not revenue generation, net revenues are used to support affordable housing projects in the city. One of the goals of the tax implementation team was to make compliance with the tax as simple as possible. Property owners are required to submit one annual declaration of the property status. This is done online and for most people it takes only a couple of minutes. Homes that are principal residences or rented for at least six months of the year in 30-day increments do not pay the empty homes tax. And homes that qualify for one of eight exemptions are also not charged the tax. Examples of exemptions include extra time to allow for property to be occupied after the death of an owner or during major renovations. The empty homes tax rate is 1% of the assessed value of the property. The rate was intended to be high enough to incentivize property owners to rent out their units but low enough that it would not provide a significant incentive to evade the tax. The decision not to tax principal residences was important as we heard from other cities that have attempted a vacancy tax that enforcing occupancy for a set number of days per year is very difficult. By aligning the tax to the concept of principal residence, a property owner can undertake travel or leave for family reasons and as long as their principal residence remains unchanged, the tax does not apply. For example, many Vancouver residents leave for warmer climates for three or four months per year. As long as their principal residence remains the same, they do not pay the tax. Also, owners can allow a friend or relative to occupy the property, and as long as it's the occupant's principal residence, it is not taxed. During the 2017 declaration year, the first year of the program, we received approximately 186,000 declarations. We found that approximately 8,000 properties or about 4% were either vacant or exempt and we generated $38 million worth of revenue for affordable housing. We found the perception that all empty homes in Vancouver are high value mansions is untrue. The majority of the vacant homes in the city were condos. 50% of the homes that were billed the empty home tax in 2017 were valued between 500,000 and 1.5 million which is less than the average assessed home value of 1.7 million. Enforcement of the tax is an essential part of the program. Using a risk-based approach as well as random audits, the Empty Homes Tax Program has a goal of verifying property status declarations and encouraging compliance with the new tax. We're very early in the enforcement program and at this point have completed 6,000 audits, finding approximately a 5% non-compliance rate. In the event that a property owner disagrees with the audit determination, we have a two-stage review process. The first review is conducted by an internal city employee, the vacancy tax review officer, and the second review is conducted by an independent external panel with the decision by this panel being final. So one big question is, is the tax working? We've now completed the 2018 declaration year, the second year of the program. 
In order to evaluate the effectiveness of the tax, we can look at our declaration data by property year over year and see developing trends. By comparing year one and year two, we can say the following. 15% fewer properties declared vacant by the close of declarations in 2018 compared to 2017. 117 properties or $130 million of assessed value of properties went from vacant to rented and 525 properties declared vacant in both years. Of course, there are challenges with measuring the effectiveness of the program, including that the empty homes tax is just one of the larger strategies in the 10 year housing Vancouver strategy that the city employs in order to reduce the housing affordability gap in Vancouver. And the Vancouver rental market is very dynamic and influenced by a variety of external factors. We're working to review the empty home tax bylaw with the view towards improving the fairness and effectiveness of the tax. Some items we'll be looking at include whether the tax rate of 1% is enough of a disincentive to encourage rental of stubbornly vacant properties, and whether the rate should be higher if the same property is vacant for many years in a row. We're also looking at how to improve fairness of the tax, including a review of properties that may have been unintentionally impacted by the tax and consideration of the use of exemptions. In 2017, of the 8,000 vacant properties we identified, over 67% were exempt, raising the issue that the number of exemptions potentially could be impacting the fairness of the tax. We're still early in the program with two declaration years recently completed. Going forward, as we continue to implement this tax, we're looking for ways to improve the fairness and effectiveness of the program. And again, this empty homes tax program continues to be just one of the ways Vancouver is approaching the housing crisis in its multi-year housing Vancouver strategy. Thanks very much. I've provided my contact information here. So if you have any questions or would like any additional information or have feedback on how we can improve the tax, I'd be happy to hear from you.